quality of the of the prospects in our mind. Uh, Jonas, I mean, Kapanen is a guy who was a first round pick last year. And I mean, you don't you don't get too attached to where they were picked in the draft, but he was a first round pick last year. And uh, Harrington is a player that, that we charted. Well, he had a real good year in the American League. His ten games he was up with Pittsburgh. He was he was really really good by by our measures in in those games. So we, we were happy to get uh, Harrington, uh, obviously, and also uh, also the Kapanen. Kapanen being the first round pick last year, as Brendan alluded to, one of the youngest players in the American League this year, especially uh, coming into the playoffs so uh, where he played where he performed really well for Wilkes-Barre so it was we're excited about that we're excited about the picks of course I mean it just continues that we've got we've got a lot of picks coming up and and uh, we'll continue to acquire more whether it's through trades or through you know getting to the draft floor and collecting picks when teams want to move up and get guys and uh, and Nick, Nick Spalling as well we're excited to have him he was, played real well at center for Nashville went to the wing last year in Pittsburgh he'll come back to center with us and and uh, fill a need for us and and as he goes into his final year of his contract Kind of be as quick as his dad, do you think, Kyle? Pardon me? Kasperi as quick as his dad, do you oh, think? That would be great. Uh, but we, we, I mean, he's, he's a highly skilled guy uh, with, with excellent feet, and he's very strong. I mean, you don't, you don't come over at, I mean, he was, he was 18, and he's, he hasn't even, turned, uh, hasn't even turned 19 yet. He, he won't even be 19 by the time of our development camp. Mm -hmm. So he's one of the younger players who was in that last year's draft period uh, and performed real well in his draft year, performed real well this year in SM Liga, and, and uh, was really solid for Wilkes-Barre. So we, he's a, he's a player with a lot of potential and I, I see people say well he's going to come in and he's going to be your second or third best prospect to say that in relative to William Nylander and Mitch Marner Connor Brown like it's starting to accumulate a pretty good prospect pool and it's up to us to develop those players now. Is, is How much did this deal change from the end of the draft where you left things to where it finally got done? I think uh, obviously it's, there's a lot of game theory that gets involved, right, Chris? You go from you go from you know, okay, it's it's dead, then things start to shake loose around the league, and then it's it's alive and well again, and a and a bigger monster than it was before. So it, it, everything in this league, as I've learned here, almost a year in, uh, still have a lot of, a lot to learn, a long way to go. Is that you know every small every move in the league shakes loose something that somehow affects your team, and and that's what happened today. Was this always the end? In this deal, or were you uh, Ab absolutely. If it wasn't, if Kapanen wasn't in the deal, I don't think we'd be standing here. Was this always the end game, though, with Phil? That if you you were looking for a good trade partner, was there ever a possibility that it, there might have been a fit? And so I think as of yesterday, it was. I mean, are you asking whether they're coming back? Yeah, coming back. Yeah, I, I don't. I wouldn't have been surprised if uh, at all. There, w there was no deadline. As much as people like to write about it, and I think the way that the team has performed has lent itself to that way of thinking. Uh, there was never any pressure internally from Brendan to say, okay, we have to make a move and. and and all these guys can't come back. Uh, we've got a, obviously a very high-end coach that we've got a lot of belief in that can that can get the best from our players. It was the exact same team as last year. We I believe that we'd be a lot better. But for us and where we're at right now, Phil's in his prime. Penguins are going to get to enjoy that. And, and uh, obviously, we stand here today. Everyone looks and sees the Penguins getting Phil. We're pretty confident in what we got back, and we're excited to work with it and excited to make use of those draft picks and get rolling. It's not as exciting for Leaf fans today as it is for Penguin fans. but. That, that's that's what we're here for is to try to build this into a cup team in years. Whatever the case, Brendan, what, how do you feel the management team did today in your first go around or something like this? I thought we were great. <laughs> <laughs> what other? I'm totally kidding. No, we did we did our we did our you know we, it's it was a great process. It's a great group. I mean, it's it's a fun group uh, with Brendan and uh, Mark Hunter, Brandon Pridham, who doesn't ever get enough uh, attention and accolades for the job that he does. Uh, we had Reed Mitchell there, Mike Penny there, and and Mike. Uh, back Babcock, who's got a lot of great experience, so it, it, it was a lot of fun, and, and uh, you know we debate everything through and bounce everything off each other. It's a group where everyone uh, feels comfortable enough to share their opinion, and then you have Cliff there uh, you know, with so much experience to help guide us, guide us along as well. Uh, I think it's a great group, and, and it was an exciting day for us what, there. What about, what, about the, guys. what about the rest of your core players, Eli and Joffrey, Tyler? What should they expect uh, between now and training camp? I think the, I think it, no, I don't think they should be nervous. I think it's it's they should be ready to come into training camp and be ready to go and, and help our team be the best that we can. I think Babs has hammered that message home with them repeatedly. Uh, you know, Dr. Bettle has hammered that home with them repeatedly. Like we've, we're going to have huge expectations in their conditioning and their and their fitness level when they come into camp. And, and I, I mean, I'm excited about the year. I'm excited about what's ahead and and adding the players that we did today, even though they might not be sexy names. I think they're they're names that are effective players that are going to play the way that we want to play and help us. So, Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Kyle.